are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, we're going to be talking about the 2024 Paris Olympics. They're actually coming pretty fast, guys. It's only like a like a year away. And guys, when we talk about the Olympics, of course, we're going to have to talk about um, biological men competing as women in the 2024 Olympics. Now, we did the same thing for the uh, Tokyo Olympics. We actually did cover that. The uh, Laurel Hubbard to the world. Uh, Laurel Hubbard um, amazingly couldn't even complete a lift. I believe there was some divine intervention or Laurel Hubbard just decided, you know what? Uh, let me just quit. I'm not really sure. Well, we need to talk about this one Olympic sprinter, guys. And this sprinter just got banned. Just got banned from the Olympics. Why? Because this is a biological male. This is not a woman, but this biological male wants to compete as a woman. And this person melts down. Because World World Athletics said, no, only women will compete in the female category. Let's dive into it, guys. Here we are. Biological male sprinter Rip's decision to only allow women to compete in women's events at 2024 Olympics. Yeah. This biological male is melting down because only women will compete in the women's category. You see this is 2023. And we have seen this time and time again guys. These biological men want to come over. And compete against women. Why don't they want to compete. Against. Their own um, sets. I mean this is a biological male. Competing against the men. And guys. These, these uh, trans athletes. They are proving. That. There is only a gender binary because you're not seeing um, these athletes saying, hey, I want to I want to identify as um, a male or female. That's the only two that they want to identify as. You don't see them identifying as something else. And when it comes to competition, they only want to go to female sports. Or if you're a woman, which is very, very rare here, they want to compete against men. Yeah. But anyway, here we go. It says here, score one for common sense. In March, World Athletics uh, declared that only biological women could compete in the women's category at the 2024 Paris Olympics. Thus, no men racing against women. Uh, French sprinter uh, Halba uh, Deef, I believe, or Doof. I'm not French, so I don't really know. A biological male and transgender female is upset. That he can't compete against women. Now listen to this guy's quote. I cannot understand this decision as transgender women have always been allowed to compete if their testosterone levels are below a certain threshold. Now here's the thing. You always hear about testosterone. But this is a biological male that went through puberty. Therefore, bone structure, muscle mass. I mean, all of that stuff actually matters. You know, the heart, all of that matters. They never bring that up. But um, this person goes on, quote, the only safeguard transgender women have is their right to live as they wish. And we are being uh, refused that we are being hounded. I feel marginalized because they are excluding me from competitions. Thing is, they're not excluding you from competition. You can actually compete against the men. Now, I do believe that the person also still has to try to make the team anyway. Um, I'm pretty sure the Olympic trials are going to be coming up here um, pretty soon. Um, I don't know exactly. But all of that stuff matters. All of that actually does matter. Um, goes on here. It says this statement is ridiculous. No one is stopping them uh, doof from living as they wish. They're stopping him from beating women at running because he has an unfair advantage against actual women. Additionally, the testosterone argument is not a good one. Testosterone is not the only biological feature that separates men from women. And I already mentioned some of that, guys. Muscle mass, all that kind of stuff that matters. 
It says, in fact, a study done by Emma N. Hilton and Tommy R. Lumberg in Sports Medicine states, quote, current evidence shows the biological advantage, most notably in terms of muscle mass and strength uh, conferred by male puberty and thus enjoyed by most transgender women is only minimally reduced when testosterone is suppressed as per current uh, sporting guidelines for transgender athletes. Yeah, I believe that is key right there. And Ali London here, who's also a, uh, a D transitioner um, has been out there on Twitter, man, talking about all these biological men identifying as uh, women. Uh, let's see here. He says um, biological man wins women's 200 meter racing um, running race in uh, Nice, France. Halba um, Doof, who identifies as a transgender Muslim woman, won the race in record time, of course. Record time. The record time made uh, Doof the ninth best running uh, performer for a 200 meter in French women's history. Running history. So this biological man right here, ninth best of all time and won the race. Why? Because like this study says, muscle mass and strength by going through male puberty, that plays a major, major factor. Now, this person is actually um, melting down because they can't compete against biological women. Nobody is stopping you from from actually trying to compete in the Olympics. But they're going by biological sets. And biologically, you're not a female. That's just the fact right there. It just is. I mean, these other women, man, like Riley Gaines, man, they're trying to actually fight for women to be in women's sports. Now, these trans athletes, why don't they just advocate for a category for like trans men or trans women? I believe that would actually be more fair. Have trans runners or trans uh, men run against trans men and trans women run against trans um, women. I believe that would be completely fair because you don't actually see men identifying as men competing against women. Why? Because it, it, it is unfair. You don't actually see women who identify as women, actual women, competing against men because they know that they, it would be an unfair advantage. They would get wiped out. So uh, shout out to World Athletics, man. There will only be women at the Olympics competing against women. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.